Cool. What's going on, guys? I'm going to do another video. In this one, we're going to be unboxing and setting up the Grave and Bones Grave Digger because there's two different Grave Diggers this year. This is the Home Depot one, in case you couldn't tell. And the scissors are not included. I just put those there because I saw it's box. Too, too yeah. bad. It's a, it, it, too bad. Home Depot's going to start. Home Depot's now forced to include them. Um, I'm hoping I get a good face. If not, get the paper towels at the ready. Yeah. Um, That's how you solve no, them. Actually, you can also off. use the packaging. The Don't. one at our store was actually quite good. I maybe 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 SBI has a grudge against Spirit, so they purposely disform the faces. I mean, I've That'd seen be some a, bad grave diggers. Oh well, yeah. Even though sometimes the bad ones don't look terrible, terrible. Okay. Moment of truth. Let me see. I can't see. Here's what's inside when you open it. Um, kind of tilted upwards towards us. Oh yeah. Punctured Pete, you can barely kind of see Punctured yeah. Pete's pole. Uh, here's a piece of shovel. Somebody's shovel handle at the end there came broken off. Oh, awesome. And you... Don't move the phone. It's part of the figure. Thanks. Appreciate it. That's his moving arm, because I see a wire. One's a lantern. Here's the other one. This one doesn't tell me to... Oh, no, mind. It doesn't. I wonder if people threw away the foam. Okay, there's the head. I see the head. Here's the adapter, I believe, and the hat. Adapter and the, and the hat. And, and the clothes. Here's the instruction. Uh, yeah, mine's a little deformed, but it's not horrible. I actually really do like this guy from how he looks. I've not seen him in... I have not seen him in person. Ah, here's the lantern hand. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, I don't like that hole through it, though. That's kind of cheesy. Ah, well... This one also has it, but that sense because there's a shovel going through it. Oh well, yeah, you won't be able to see it because of the shovel. Uh, I just realized how many props are with shovels this year. Mine is actually pretty good. That's oh. actually pretty good. I mean, you got the weird mouth, but... Let me see. Can you show us the camera? Actually, it's not bad at all. I've got, I got a pretty good head. I'm very happy with that. This is the thing that I was most nervous about coming into him but i really like that one although that is like a little annoying but it's that's the thing i was most curious about if you were in if we were gonna have to stuff the head don't pull that off i'm not trying to i kind of fix i mean it's that is very good though that is impressive for what i was anticipating there's some um, that look like they're like confused i'm gonna some take this out of the plastic just because don't uh, well who knows, maybe it'll look, maybe, may, who knows, you never know. I was gonna say, maybe, um, the fact that it isn't puffed out makes it look even weirder. But the gray hair suits you. Thanks. Call me old? Yes! Uh, oh, here's even the though, pants. Even though not everybody with gray hair is old. These are thick pants. Sorry the, um, setup is so weird. Because gray hair is a, literally a, apparently gray hair is a style now. People, people actually dye their hair here's gray. The, Oh, the shirt and the undershirt. Oh, it all is one piece. I did not know that. Sensor hole. Thanks. Home Depot is very good with that. Or FBI or whoever. Like, we should do SBI that. may say, hey, I need you. Adapter. Uh, Home Depot may tell SBI, A, give me, hey, put labels on everything. I'm going to move this box over. A bit. Uh, well. Okay. Maybe you should get on the opposite side so we can see what you're taking out of the box. Oh, okay, I can't get the shovel because it's kind of there. <laughs> a bunch of feet comes on the frame. These are boots, huge. Boots, boots, I have not seen this guy in person. Those so are ginormous boots. But so far, he looks okay. Here's some support poles, four of them. If you have oh, another prop, boots. if you have another prop with um, mouth movement and let up eyes, you can swap the heads. Ah, uh, if only they had light up eyes. Yeah, this shovel is kind of stuck in there. Yeah, when you yank on it, just take out the pieces. Oh, that's the entire, like, mech. Mm -hmm. This mech is huge. Stop breaking everything. How tall is he? He is six and a half feet. Oh, so he's, like, almost... I wonder if that includes the hat. Because so far, it looks like no. Just like how, like, those Finance of Freddy's plushies don't include the hat. They say six inches, but that doesn't include the hats. When you get them, they're actually bigger. 
take the shovel lock in that end. Oh, never mind. Yikes, this is chaos. This is a mess. Take it out from... I was gonna say take it out from... There where? it is. <sighs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to organize this. Definitely. Is there anything else in the box? There's a sticker. Yeah, the base. Uh, I'm gonna lay this up against here. I always like to lay the mechanisms up against a wall. I don't know why. Let's That's pan and see that mechanism, even though you're a little bit in the way. There we go, now we can see it. Hey man, this, this um, room is filled with crap. You got Pete right there, you got uh, Blood Brothers, Hauntress, Death Row, Cerberus. Here's the base. Yes, shoe pegs. I'm standing in the box now. Yay, it's got shoe pegs. Alright, so I'm gonna organize this, get everything um, organized and everything, and we'll be back in a moment. Alright, so we start with, you'll never guess, connecting the two, the two of the pools. Once you've set up, basically, you know, once you set up to one SVI, I feel like you've set them all up. Mm -hmm. they're, they're so similar to, all, um, to each other all, every nice. single time. Meanwhile, Crazy Crate tries to be as different as possible. And Techie's pretty similar most of the time. Yeah, yeah. And then the shoes. God, they look wrong either way you put them always. Uh, I'm going to put this one on the side. I like that they at least glued the shoe pegs this time, this year. Yeah, that's really nice. Then the shoes can't actually slide anywhere. And they're pretty much set exactly in place. Alright, put two more poles on. He's already... Oh, with that mech on. With that mech on, it's going to be a decent size. Hope he can actually fit. <laughs> Uh, you know what you're gonna have to, you know what we're probably, you know what we're probably gonna have to do? As in you? Go to the store and buy, um, pipe cleaner, or not pipe cleaners, um, pool noodles to beef out the legs. Yeah, they are, that's why I was in the thing with not doing that for the legs. Even, even like Waving Wally, he's got leg foam. It sucks, it doesn't do anything. I guess it doesn't matter which pant leg goes on which side. Are you sure about that? Yeah, it's pants. Exactly. Los pantalones. You wouldn't want to put your pants on backwards, would you? Well, my pants are different. You know what? Ju just for that, get stuck with a sticker. <laughs> they didn't even see what happened. Yeah, I, st I, I just um, stuck a sticker on him, that's all. No, why'd you stick it on my shirt? You're supposed to stick it on it my pants. It happened into the function control box. Why'd you stick it on my shirt? You're supposed to stick it on my pants. True. Duh. You're supposed to stick it on my pants. Let's not drop this. Even though I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> I'm wearing shorts. <laughs> Somebody turned off the case. If we paused to the video or something, that would have sounded very strange. What the? That cord hanging down, bro. Kind of long. That's what she said. Alright, that is in. He is already taller than me. He seems kind of wobbly to me. I know, I noticed that too. What is this? It's the iris sensor, that's what it is. Oh. And then it also wants me to plug in the adapter. I think it's, I was about to say, it seems, it's kind of strange that the, um, are, the adapter's already, the, um, things already plugged in. I'm kind of. 5.9 volt. SBI, SBI likes like 5.9 5 volts. Techie likes their 6 volt 2 amps. They like their 5.9 volt. Then what about, um, Crazy Create? Uh, they like their switching adapters. Okay. That's why you're a friend now. The other, the donut from uh, Hauntress. That was kind of just chilling. Which I'm gonna steal. Like I stole the one from Pete. Pete. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully I'll get Nightcrawler as well. Uh, my store is gonna call me when they get him in. They told me that. So that's nice. Nightcrawler's still. I'm, you know, people say Nightcrawler's rare at stores. Take into consideration, it's. You have him at full volume September. almost. Put it like half sensor. He's on sensor already, so that's cool. You could plug him in right now and he'll start oh, moving. I'm gonna do this on the pant leg. Oh, imagine that. You didn't even need to put the shirt on. Is this really wrong? Not really. The typical viewer. Not really. Where it does not seem. Hello? You lost it, there didn't it you? I found it. Kind of on the outside, not the inside, though. There it is. Yikes. Pull up those paint legs. Just look at them. 
I know I will. What time do you want me to? <laughs> Just leave his, so you're going to leave his pants sagging like that? Yeah, and then so you me. pull it over these, I think, or something. Pull it to a certain height. about the front he's very flat looking okay or <laughs> see they need to include foam to put in the legs then again I think I kept the foam in Wally in the Wally's box I don't really know why I did it's really does nothing for him mm. Like, literally, it doesn't do anything for him. And he just gets crushed in the box anyway, so it looks funky. One of the flaws of SVI. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, the fails of SVI. For this year, one of the many flaws. But Waving Wally isn't from this year. I know, but still. I mean, this time they aren't even including foam. Then again, this may just be Home Depot. Maybe, like, Spirit Animatronics get foam. And maybe the Morse ones do too. Actually, I know, I know for a fact. It's not bad. Looming clown does. See, he's like leaning forward. Are you seeing that? Do you feel like he's leaning forward? Oh, that's weird. Is he supposed to be? I guess it's for the arm. Um. Yeah, over it is the, the arm. Hoop. It looks like it. On the bottom of the torso. So yeah, that's the hoop. And then it wants me to put on the shirt. Where is the shirt? It's right here. Can I just say he's very ugly on the instructions and on the box? Where's the box? Oh, yeah, the box is behind you. Um, alright, so it wants me to connect the arms. Yes, arms. The one with the wire, I believe, is his right. Yes. So this is the one with the wire. This one, let's see, this one goes like this. I think from the side. You think that's, that, that. I mean, if memory serves me, correct. Pika boo. <laughs> eh. Pika boo. I just love that game. Particularly with crying little babies. Ha ha ha. Arm number one. Now the second arm. Ooh, that one's got like. It's strange how we. I don't know if that's intentional, but it's cool. Strange how we l is leaning forward a little bit, and then yeah. we knock on the, like do the little tapping thing. Do the little tapping thing so that people can hear. I don't know if it'll do it anymore. His clothing's on. Yeah, but, but it, like he's... it was making like a weird. Uh... Scratching sound almost. This thing's rattling around. A good way to describe it. Yeah. Hope it's not an issue. Oh, yeah, there it was. Okay, that's not how it was. Probably quiet. Yeah, that's it. It's just quieter because the clothing's on. Oh, that's not like a big issue. Just hope like the, like the speaker isn't loose or something. That speakers are a nightmare. You have to open up the control box. Solder back on the. <laughs> there we go. Risen it up a little bit. That way it's a little bit easier to see. I don't know why I can't like this. And then also he's leaning forward a little bit, which I don't know. Which we are not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, there we go. And 
I'm guessing next step is do the hands. Yes. So this arm has this hand. No, not that way. This way. And then there should be Velcro. Right? One. What was this? Kind of seems sorry, but that's fine. Um. And then I do the shovel through the hand, which is interesting. So the back side. I think it needs to come through. Make it so the shovel goes through the hand. Or it does not fit. What? Now, first what you should do is take the shovel out and. Well, does it, how does it connect? Yeah, you need to figure that out first. That. Well. So put the shaft of the shovel through. Put the back end of the shovel shaft through. Because clearly that side can't go through because it's got the little things to stop it from going through. Make the bottom end of the shovel go through first. No, see, it can't go through that way. You're not doing, no. I'm gonna pause it. Yeah, good idea. All right, well, it says to connect this arm and then put in the hand, but I already connected that arm, so whoa, I just have the hand to, um, Is it all the way through? Yes. <coughs> Bless you. Corona, thank you. <laughs> Gracias. I don't think Corona makes you sneeze. I, I think... Then again, I don't know what the side effects of Corona are. Alright, so the wire here wants to connect to this wire. So that's all good. At least now his lantern will light up. It looks like all you need to do is just connect the head, and that's it. Looks like. And it. then the wires, obviously. Yeah. His head. his head is all the way back here, and then like you know, the hat. Oh yeah, the hat too. But that we don't we who cares about the hat? Well, okay. Oh yikes! He's like kind of like his hat is gonna get close to the ceiling. He's like looking that way. <laughs> Probably, um... Tuck the wires through. Mm-hmm. And then, like, tuck, like, the neck through. And then, um, yeah, I guess you don't really need to see me connect the wires, so... I'll be back when I do those, and we'll put on there. Alright, we're back to plug them in. Here's the plug. Um, so it's not an initial reaction this time. Also, it sounds this like place is filled cool. with the bodies of those I buried over the years. Why, some were even dead when I buried them. Others were the undead. I had to bury them just to keep them quiet. You, you can't uh, shove that neck in, because when his head moves, it will look They like... say this place is haunted. Oh, I've seen the spirits of the dead walk in and floating above the ground, but that's not my job. Oh, sir, I put the bodies under the ground. He might be one of my favorites I own, honestly. He is really cool. I like the flick, flickering lantern. I love the movement. He's got four different movements. 
mouth, head turn, body turn, and then the um, arm movement. Something that I don't like is this. You can't, because if you shove it under, like back there, it's just, it's kind of, it might, I might be able to um, push this forward actually, the clothing, because you got that gap there, but I'm not sure. He, what it'll do is when it, he goes off the mouth movement and the head turning, we'll just pop it right back out. So that really doesn't do much. But he is super cool. I say he's probably fourth that I own behind Collector, Pete, Hauntress, and then it would be him. And then probably Blood Brothers. Yeah. Uh, or no, Eddie and then Blood Brothers. But yeah, oh god, it's gonna be fun doing that later, because I'll probably make ranking videos, or just list them in a playlist rankings. But uh, yeah, um, face is really good on mine. I actually do really like that. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace!